Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare another episode of DNA Saturday, which is the weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me a DNA bombs. This one was sent in by a guy named Flynn and this is the credit class he's using throughout the entirety of the video. If you guys have to go ahead and pause and check that out, you can, but we're going to be going ahead and skipping into the gameplay here so I can actually show you the DNA bomb gameplay as well as talk about the credit class, which is just a really cool system you guys suggested to me. Like it's way better than any idea I ever had, like my idea initially for DNA Saturday was, hey, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to put awkward screenshots of the credit class all throughout the video and it just it looked bad it was honestly just atrocious and you guys suggested this and i thought it was a pretty freaking good system and right there we get a quad feed which is pretty nice so what we got going on here is a game of uplink here on the map solar running around with the ak-12 and we is a very nice overall gameplay uh, uplink itself is a new game mode it's a new game mode here in advanced warfare we've never seen it in call of duty before it does draw some similarities in my mind to blitz from call of duty ghost which which was a pretty fun game mode and it's basically played the exact same way except when you're playing uh, uplink here you have to actually grab a ball like picture it almost like a football in a way or rugby or something you have to grab a ball and carry that and then run it into the objective whereas in call of duty ghost with blitz you basically just had to slide into the objective to get your score well here you have to actually go ahead and you can throw it in for one point or you can go ahead and like slam dunk it in uh for two points which is pretty nice but the gameplay itself is very very good so the way the spawn system works in my limited experience with uplink which i have played uplink but i haven't played the whole a lot of it because I don't do very good at it like it's one of those ones where like my team is like so uncoordinated that like you guys see me in my videos right I'm always playing with my friends right almost a full party all the time and we are getting whooped on by random people that are like non-prestige like there's something about this game mode that we're just not good at like understanding or I don't know we just always seem to end up losing like we always do good KD wise but we have a very hard time moving the objective towards their portal and actually getting a score well what we're gonna be doing throughout the entire video like the role that our guy here Flynn is gonna be playing is basically he's trying to clear the way for his teammates and that's actually something that really needs to work like I one of the things that I think my, my team, like me and my, me and my team have done wrong when we're playing this game mode is we always seem to just kind of like huddle around the ball carrier and then just run with him. And then the ball carrier ends up dying or we end up dying or something ends up happening wrong and we rarely actually get scores that way. Whereas if you take something like this where somebody is over there towards their objective trying to hold off their team, killing them off, making it so it's actually easier for us to get the objective, making it so it's easier for that person uh, to carry the objective and get towards the objective. I, I think it works out a bit better that way. I don't know. I'd have to try it out this is a game that i definitely want to play a little bit more of because i think it's interesting i like the way the spawn system is set up it's it's set up um more, like a more traditional call of duty game but it's set up kind of like blitz in a way right where the enemy team is only basically going to be spawning uh near their their objective right they're only gonna be spawning over there they're not gonna be spawning in the middle they're not gonna be spawning on your objective or anything like that they're only gonna be spawning around their portal and that's what you need to uh try and keep them away from so basically stand around there kill off some people and you can do pretty well we're in the second half here of course this uh a particular streak goes between two different halves and i've always hated that i gotta say i've always hated that like a domination in uh I guess it's the same way here in Advanced Warfare, but when they first implemented it in Black Ops 2, I had a hard time with Domination, because I would be like, you know, really close to a V-Sat or something, then we would switch sides, and it's like, oh no. Now I gotta like, reposition myself, you know, I gotta get to the B-Flag again, hopefully not get murdered, you know, I hated that, I always hated that. But now let's take this time, let's take this off time here, because right now, like I said, he's gonna be over here towards their objective, really trying to slay off some people so his team can kind of push up. Let's talk about the Kray class he's actually using. So he's using the AK-12, which is one of the best guns in the game, in my opinion. I think it's got some of the best iron sights I've ever seen in Call of Duty and he's using it with quick draw grip parabolic microphone and foregrip now parabolic microphone I think in all, in all honesty is a pretty underrated attachment what it does is it makes it so when that's equipped to your gun when people on the opposing team are shooting a gun with a silencer it still shows up on your mini map so it basically makes it so silencers don't really provide any benefit against you which is pretty nice so it's actually a pretty underrated attachment in my opinion he's pretty loaded up on perks in the perk and the perk one category he's got low profile in perk two he's got blind eye and cold blooded, so basically he's not going to be showing up like on thermals. He's not going to be showing up on kill streaks and things like that. And at perk three, we've got scavenger and blast suppressor. Scavenger is something I see a lot of people using now, where they can try and hold on to more ammo. As well as we got blast suppressor, which I even made a video about, is the best perk in the game. It is seriously fantastic. You should be using blast suppressor if you're not already. It makes it so you can dash around, do all kinds of crazy stuff without showing up on the mini map. And as you guys see throughout this entire video, man, he's dashing. He's dashing quite a bit. <laughs> he's uh, he's jumping. He's dashing. He's strafing. He's doing all kinds of crazy stuff and honestly i play the exact same way if you have all these crazy new movement mechanics you might as well use them right you might as 
will get the best benefit out of them and become a very fast place player. And right here, he actually goes ahead and smacks the guy. Now he ends up getting the ball. And this is where things get antsy. Like, go away, ball. I'm trying not to die. <laughs> like, he's got the objective in his hand. That guy's in there spraying at him. And right here, I thought was kind of a, kind of a, almost a misplay in a way. Like, he's waiting for that guy at the doorway. I'm like, do you not realize there's a window right there to your right? Right there to the right, there's a window. That guy could see you if he was there. But his teammate ended up killing him off. And now they're all spawning down here towards his portal again. And he actually goes ahead and picks off two of them, which is pretty nice. And what's funny is it's getting kicked like crazy right there because he's not using toughness. But they uh, end up working his favor, I guess. He ended up getting the kill regardless. So, I don't know, man. Things just get really hectic down here. It's like, oh, goodness, the hectic. They're constantly spawning around him. He actually picks up a DNA bomb right there, which is pretty nice. You look down there at the score. Look down there at the score. He's losing 4 to 10. Now, keep in mind the scoring system. If you actually, like, dunk in the objective when you're playing uplink, you actually get two points. So, it, technically, if they do that, they're only three points behind. And it causes, it, it's a, it's quite a comeback. It's quite a comeback. They they really rally themselves. We're like, okay, now he's got the DNA bomb. Now we need to work. We've got two minutes left to do this. And they end up going into overtime after they tie it, and they end up actually winning the game in overtime, coming back from that deficit, which actually, in all honesty, this does not happen to me a lot when I'm watching Call of Duty gameplay, but it actually kind of had me on the edge of my seat watching the entirety of the gameplay, because, uh, of course, the rules here at DNA Saturday, uh, I have people submit the entirety of the gameplay so I can do whatever I want with the video. So what I'd like to do with this one is I showed you guys that they end up coming back. They had quite the comeback. They ended up winning in overtime, which overtime is kind of interesting. I found out in overtime because I've never actually played overtime in Uplink. Uh, basically, the first team to score in the first part of uh, overtime like doesn't win the game. The other team, there's another round of overtime after that where the opposing team has to be able to beat the time that you took the score uh, in overtime to be able to win. So that's actually kind of an interesting system in my opinion. So I like that. But there it is, a final score of 67 kills and 4 deaths. We also had 2 Uplink captures. Uh, for our guy here, Flynn, which was a, just a fantastic overall gameplay. Like, everything about this gameplay was great, in my opinion. If you guys like to go ahead and check out his YouTube channel, he's got the entire gameplay over there, so you can watch the crazy comeback that I watched, and it was pretty freaking nice. So that gives you a little bit of incentive to go check out his YouTube channel. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of DNA Saturday, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves, and if you guys would like to submit your guys' DNA bombs for next week's episode of DNA Saturday, go watch that video. So basically, if you have annotations on your uh, enabled like on your browser, you go ahead and click the video if that doesn't work out for you maybe you're on mobile, you can go ahead and watch the video. There's a link down in the video description that will take you right to that so you guys can check out that video. Everything you need to know about submitting your videos for DNA Saturday is in there as well as some helpful hints as the things I'm looking for when you submit your gameplay and stuff and all the rules you have to abide by and all that kind of crazy fun stuff. So you guys go ahead and check that out and you'll learn how to submit your videos for next week's episode of DNA Saturday. If you guys would like to go ahead and check out Flynn, he's a brand new channel here on YouTube, having started just about two weeks ago. He is so new to YouTube, in fact, or at least his channel is, that he doesn't even have a URL yet. So as you see, usually I put the link to their channel on the screen. There's still an annotation you can click on your screen, I'll take you to his channel. There's a link down in the video description, I'll take you to his channel. But I can't actually go ahead and just like tell you the name of his YouTube channel because he doesn't have it. It's basically, since it's such a new channel, it's the Google Plus system, where basically it's a bunch of random numbers and layers. There is a way, I'm not sure how that you go in there and you can actually make yourself an actual URL like youtube.com slash iFlynn or something like that. But uh, right now he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that set up. So you have to either click the annotation on your screen or you have to go and click the link in the video description to check out his channel. Over on his YouTube channel, he posts Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. He has two DNA bombs up on his channel as well as the entirety of this gameplay. If you guys like to go ahead and check that out, it's a very nice gameplay overall. I think you guys will enjoy it. Quite the comeback, quite the really good objective play, very good teamwork. I liked it as a whole and I think you guys would like the entire of the gameplay if you check out his channel. He also has some crazy class guides over on his YouTube channel. Right now, I think he has one for the Ball 27 and one for the HBR A3, kind of showing you guys what he believes to be the best crazy class setup uh, for that gun and trying to show you some gameplay of it and show you exactly how the gun works and how he likes to use it. So that's pretty nice to have a crazy class guide. And people like crazy class guides. They really, really do. That's why we actually talk about the crazy classes here on DNA Saturday. He's a brand new channel, like I said, but he's doing a lot better than other new channels that I've seen here on YouTube. Like He's already got good microphone quality. He's got good video quality, which these are two things things that a lot of YouTube channels really struggle with when they first start posting on YouTube. So it's good he has those two things out of the way. Like even myself, I had trouble with that. Like my microphone was atrocious for like the first few months of me posting on YouTube. So that's definitely a thing. He's doing pretty good with it so far. I like his accent. I like his videos. I like his commentary. He's only got a few of them, but he's on his way. He's on his way. So go check out his stuff. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll like it enough to subscribe. And maybe you can be one of those hipster subscribers. Like I've been watching you since you've had under 30 subscribers, which he has under 30 subscribers. So hopefully that will change after this video goes live. And you guys go check him out and then he will have a little bit of a better channel so hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves hope you guys all have a wonderful day